Hey, in this video, let's take a look at a clever way how you can quickly create a large amount of small uh, cables, right? So how would you create something like this um, so you don't have to create, you know, each cable individually? Maybe you are making a sci-fi prop or doing a robot or whatever the reason is, uh, you need lots of cables very quickly. What would be a, uh, the best way to, uh, to accomplish this? So for this example, just let's recreate something similar to this, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a cylinder and we can just generate a new one, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. So here's the cylinder and just to uh, see what we're doing initially, I'm gonna switch it to basic material, okay? And uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna first switch this to make polymesh 3D. So this is gonna allow me to uh, create any kind of mass I need. And I can see it right now I have 130,000 uh, points for this cylinder, that's fine, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my move, press control and just drag another copy of it. And now I have two of these guys. I'm gonna press control and drag to get rid of the masking. And now to create the cables, all you have to do is just simply select the two uh, areas where you want the cables to, to meet. So in this case, I'm gonna go in the side view. I'm gonna make sure I'm not in the perspective and holding down the control key, I can switch my masking to, let's just switch to something like the uh, mask rectangular. I'm just gonna mask kind of the top uh, part here and I'll just do the bottom one here, right? So now I have these two uh, pieces masked out and now to create the cables, all you need to do is find something called slime bridge and in slime bridge here's the trick the trick to create uh, clean straight cables is to dial down the uh, the bottom one let's go ahead and dial down the uh, branches um, for the bridges let's just have a lot of cables i'm just going to do like 250. Uh, let's go ahead and do 250. Um, for tension we uh, want to create some tension so i'm just going to crank this up i want to make sure they are uh, somewhat straight so I'm gonna do a tension of 90. Um, you can play around with this. And, that, and then all I have to do is just simply say slime bridge. All right, that's gonna give me a lot of cables very quickly, which is great. Now to make them a little bit thicker, all I have to do is just simply inflate them a little bit. And I can decide what size I want. Let's, let's go with something like this, that's pretty cool. And now to uh, add a, a little bit of a twist, if you wanted to, you can just go to move, go to the gear, and let's just switch to uh, twist and then if I just drag this up here you can do you can see that I can control the twist amount I can even uh, double up if I go this way right and now I have something like that once I twist them you can see they actually do get deformed a little bit so maybe that's actually a good thing um, and let me actually accept this if you wanted them to be to be a little more round of course we can inflate them once again now we have something like this and uh, at this point you can of course also um, apply any other modifier uh, in here you can do you can do a taper and that's going to allow you to uh, taper this in any way you want all right so let's go ahead and change our uh, material and do a quick bpr and you can see uh, what that looks like all right i hope this video um, helped you out so have fun creating your own uh, cables and i'll see you guys in our next video